is time for my green lesson today. And I have one student with me in person today. I'm very excited to see Esther Gamada. She's here with me. And hopefully a bunch of you out there watching this video. So today is a is an interesting and good lesson. We are going to start off by asking a question. So let's come up here. I'm going to come up here to the board. And so Esther, what we're talking about today is be able to, be able to. So we use this phrase, be able to, to talk about ability. Okay? So let's, let's, there's, there's more than one way to do this in English. But here's a question. Who can touch the ceiling? So, if I asked you, Gamara, can you touch the ceiling? Exactly, right? So, I asked the question, uh, can you touch the ceiling. Um, so I asked her that question. Do you notice what I used? I used the word can right here. It is, it's, it's another phrase that we use when we are asking a question about ability, okay? So, some other phrases that we learned in the past are, I'm going to write them over here. Because, because of, to, enough. Okay? So, let's try and see if we can use because to, to talk about why. Esther, why can't you reach the ceiling? Good. Thank you. So, I asked the question, why can't okay, you reach the ceiling? She gave a perfect answer. She said, I can't. I can't reach the ceiling because, and I like what she said, because it is too high. That is super. He actually used because right here, remember, because gives us the reason for the why, right? But here's the problem. I can't reach the ceiling. Why? Well, here's the reason. Because it is too high. She also managed to use two. An adverb of degree. So she successfully used this 
and this. Do you think you could also figure out a way in a sentence to use both of those? Sure. here. I can't reach the ceiling because, here we go, I can't reach the ceiling because I'm not all enough. Okay, so that's a good example of using both of these. Now, today's lesson is really the same thing as using can. We use can to talk about ability. If you can do something, it means you have the ability to do it. If you cannot do something, you do not have the ability. It's the same as using be able to. So, for example, we can change this. It means the same thing. But we can get rid of... Oh, let me see here. Let's replace it. and say the same thing. We've got to get rid of that too, the U. And we're going to make it, it's just going to look a little different. I would say, are you able to touch The ceiling. Are you able to touch the ceiling? So then we could say, I am not able. Good. Period. Nice, okay. So, in a sentence, you, you put the not, you'll notice the negative went right in between there. I am not able to touch the ceiling. Now, if I told you that you were going to get a ladder, <laughs> and I ask you the same question, only you have a ladder. Let me just get rid of a little bit of stuff here. Okay. All right. I said, 
are true. Okay. Good. Good. I am able to reach the ceiling with a ladder. All right. Good. So again, you can say the same thing. Yes, I am able to reach the ceiling with a ladder. Or you could say, yes, I can reach the ceiling with a ladder. Either one is correct. Okay? So it's, it, it's a pretty simple idea. It's just another way to say the same thing. All right. Let's jump back to the book now. Hold on, let me turn the sound, see if I can turn the sound up just a little bit. Can you hear that? Grammar actions. Be able to. Watch and listen. Be able to. Use. Hold on. I got us. Too much going on. Let me um, stop the video here from uploading and see if that helps. Unit 3, Lesson F, Grammar Connections. Be able to. Watch and listen. Be able to. Use be able to for ability. Be able to means can. I am able to speak English. He is able to drive a car. She is able to work today. You are able to cook very well. They are able to fly. Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Complete the sentence with the correct form of be able to. Nice. So take a second. What do you what would the answer to this be? She good, good. She is able to work today. What would this one be? Say it one more time. Good job. You are able to cook very well. Good. You are able to cook very well. How about this one? Good job. They are able to fly. Watch and listen. Not be able to. Use not be able to for ability. 
Not be able to means can't. I am not able to speak Japanese. They are not able to dance. She is not able to work today. You are not able to cook very well. They are not able to fly. Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Complete the sentence with the correct form of not be able to. So what would this one be? Good. She is not able to work today. How about this one? Good job. You are not able to cook very well. <laughs> that looks like me. How about this one? Good job. They are not able to fly. Let's review. Use be able to for ability. Be able to means can. I'm able to drive. Use not be able to for lack of ability. Not be able to means can't. Isabel isn't able to drive. Okay. All right. So this will be this will be good practice um, to see if we can make some sentences, okay, from different situations. Can you read A to me? Good. And then B. To lift. Good. I'm not able to lift my nephew. So the idea here is to play a game, but since there's only one of us, there's one of you, we'll just, well, let's just go through this and see if we can create an example from each one of these. Okay? It'll be really great practice. So for the first one, can you, they already gave an example. Let's jump to, let's jump to the third one. It says, someone you know who isn't able to drive. And the idea is we want to use, you know, the negative or the positive. Good. Good. So let me bring up my good. Someone you know who isn't able to sing well. My teacher isn't able to sing well. And I that is that is for sure true. I raised my hand on that one. <laughs> um okay. A sport you are able to do well. Your neighborhood? Good. Very good. I am I am able to walk around my neighborhood. Okay. Something you aren't able to cook. Hmm. <laughs> I have a lot of things. I'm not able to cook.
A what? Yeah. Yeah, I am not able to cook spaghetti today. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's see. Something you are able to do in I'm not sure what that says. Hold on. Let's just say something you are able to do at school. Good. Good job. I am able to practice my vocabulary in my class. Excellent. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson for today. It was actually lesson F from Unit 3, and it is the last thing that we will do in Unit 3. So congratulations, you made it through Unit 3. Um, Tomorrow, we will actually do a review, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of a review with you right now, um, and we'll go back to Lesson A, and we'll do a review and take a quiz over the different lessons as a unit quiz. So tomorrow, you'll see two different quizzes over Lesson A and B, um, and then we'll, we'll keep going through and do a review quiz on each part of uh, unit three. So we're to the unit test. Let's jump in and just do a little bit of review. We got a little bit of time here. Let's go back and do a little bit of review using the arcade. Kind of a fun way to review old material. All right. You remember the unit was all about neighbors, right? Let's take a look at the crossword puzzle. Neighbors. And let's see if we can get three across. So that would be this one right here. Have you played an across an across stick game before? Yeah? Alright. Can you read number three? It's going to have to fit in here. Let's let's give ourselves a hint. Ooh, it's not going to Can I borrow? Yeah, let's see. So B, what do you think the next letter is? Good. Good job. Borrow. Can I borrow yours? All right. Svetlana, help me with my English homework. I blank her help. Six. That's a long word. Let's see what the first letter, you want a letter? I need a letter too. Here, let me click on it. Man, that's hard. 
R E C I it's a really that's a hard word A T E There you go appreciate A P P R E C I A T E All right nice Let's do one more. Seven. You should blank to the building manager about the broken window. You should write. We need a few more letters. You should. I wonder, you remember the kind of email we wrote? A uh, for the assignment, if you're upset about something at your apartment, you write, what kind of an email? Yeah, what kind of an email did we call that? Starts with a C. If I'm upset, I, yes, yes. C O M P L A I N. Bingo. <laughs> Good job. That's right. Complain. These are tough. Okay. Let's take a look at number one down. Katrina lent me her car. I blank her one. Yep. So how do you spell that? Good. Okay. It's the same idea. O. Okay. O is a verb. Own. Um, it's the same. It's the same word, different part of speech. I owe you one. It means I owe you a favor. To own something, it's also. It's also. Um, it's also a verb, and it means it belongs to me. I own the car. I owe you means I'm indebted to you. Okay. The next one, number two. The smoke alarm made a very loud blank and woke us up. Sound? Does it have an E on the end? Sound? No. Number four down. It says, number two is noise, by the way. Four is Dan came blank last night. He stayed for about an hour. Came came That's a hard one. So what it if you have a plane, you say the plane is flying my house, is flying. No, it starts with an O. O flying or he came. Let me give you another letter. Give me another letter. I 
That's a tough one. Over. Good job. <laughs> That's so hard. Yeah, it's over. O V E R. He came over last night. He stayed for about an hour. Good, good. Okay. I need a blank. Can I borrow a cup of sugar? I need a what? Yes! Nice! I think that's right. Let's look. What's the letter? Nice job! Nice job! Excellent! Let's uh, check our answers. Wow! 100%. All right. Good job. All right. We're going to stop there, Esther, and I'd like to check. Do you remember you wrote a paragraph the other day in your notebook? We'll stop with the with the lesson. I'd like to look at your paragraph that you wrote. Okay, and we can look at that. And um, everybody online, you guys can uh, work on the independent study. If you haven't done the writing assignment, make sure you go into the document from the lesson on. Uh, Wednesday of last week, make sure you write your paragraph for a grade.